Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, everyone out there in broadcasting land. Uh, it is Sunday, April 26, 2020. It is now 12.54 p.m. And I just want to say thank you for tuning in. And listen, today we're going to talk about Netflix and chill. The etiquette of and the etiquette of Netflix and chill and what the expectations, the, the expectations are look of how to netflix and chill correctly along with um like some appropriate shows now i say netflix and chill but i personally am a believer in having a fire stick i feel like if you have uh internet why not use all the access that you have and think about it you get a fire stick you have access to everything out there more or less so i mean you pretty much have the same access if you have a laptop and i come to find that a lot of households these days are lacking in that area they might have a tablet or maybe an ipad or (sighs) heaven forbid they have an iphone and you know they got it they got their iphone and they're using it for everything like everything that they could possibly use it for filling out a job application trying to write a paper or a text or messaging people on various social medias and i just feel like at the end of the day your cell phone your smartphone it's not gonna cut it you can't do everything on your smartphone i just want to get that out there you could definitely do a lot these days i've seen a lot of different things you can make movies you can make beats you can make um uh, soundtracks, you know, you could do like all of these things um, with this technology these days. And I want to give a big shout out to Disney Plus. You know, once it dropped, it was well, it went viral. It really took over. It changed the game. You've got all of your Marvel content. You got all of the uh, Disney content. It even has Fox content on there. So the Simpsons and and all of that, you know, everything that's pretty much uh, on those uh, networks and channels or whatever, they've been absorbed into Disney Plus. And they've got National Geographic. And I don't have Disney Plus. I have a, a Fire Stick. So, but I am aware that it has like all the classics. Um, and they're not edited. They're 100% uh, remastered the original standards of what they were. So if there were, how can I say it, any kind of racial uh, displacement in there, they're not PCing it up. You know, they're, they're keeping it as, um, as old as time. You know, uh, they're keeping it the way it was when it originally came out. And, you know, heaven forbid that someone have an issue and want to you know come after disney which is like a big mistake a powerhouse you know and i just feel like i just recently watched frozen 2 and i was like man the magic is still there you know i i definitely like both of those uh frozen and frozen 2 and i recently watched the um trolls world tour uh, movie it's a great movie especially if you love music and different genres of music those are uh, some good you know movies to watch when you're netflix and then chilling now me personally i feel like you can't go wrong with a superhero movie oh and i just thought about the uh, um Star Wars, they, 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 you know, Disney bought the rights to Star Wars a few years back, and all your Star Wars is on there, so, uh, they're covering all their bases when it comes down to this Disney Plus. Now, uh, like I was gonna say, uh, if, if you really want to Netflix and chill, 
Uh, there are some Netflix originals out there. Uh, I recently watched. Well, like I say, there's some Netflix originals out there, and I don't know if they're still on Netflix, but I'll say anything Marvel, like all the Marvel content or whatever. That's why I mentioned Disney Plus, because I can't remember if they, you know, again, I having a fire stick lets you know that um, you're able to uh, watch any content for more or less. So uh, with that being the case, you just pull the content that you're looking for and go for it, you know, just go after it. So, uh, I'm currently, I, well, I feel that action comedy movies are great. Um, if you haven't seen the, the new Bad Boys 3, Bad Boys for Life movie, that's a good movie to uh, Netflix and chill with. Uh, any Die Hard movie, I am a serious Die Hard movie uh, Bruce Willis, he's he's been doing it since like the late '80s. So, um, any and Bruce Willis is a great actor. So, anything that he's in, uh, he's in Red One and Two, and um, all the Die Hards. Uh, so far, the the one that I more or less like, I like all of them. The first one is, is a classic, you know. Can't can't sing without that. It wouldn't be no uh, John McClane. And the one that I really I went to the movies to see, and I really was like, "Oh wow, this is this is a great movie." Was Die Live Free or Die Hard? You know, so you know that's a good um, action comedy is where I where I go with my. So um, I don't come across a lot of scary movies, so the you know that's that's not my thing. Scary movies usually end up with a, a more suspenseful and 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 dry. You know, I, I need. Either comedy coming or, or or action coming at me, you know. So I need something to to touch my soul at the end of the day. Uh, if you haven't seen the um, Harriet, the Harriet Tubman movie, that is a good movie. Uh, it, it did have a couple of times where I kind of was like in and out, but she gives a speech in that movie that it was one of the most moving speeches I'd ever felt. So I would definitely encourage you to check that out. Um, now. In in the process of Netflix and chilling, you you've got your you know your background movie basically, you know what I'm saying. And at the end of the day, it's about having a good time. Most people consider Netflix and chilling. The two words said like that, you you you've already pretty much put the title out there. Like, what do you want to do? Let's Netflix and chill, you know. And since the whole coronavirus is going on right now. They say quarantine and chill. At the end of the day, you still say chill, and everyone knows that's like a code word for hooking up. So uh, when someone hits you up for that um, covert booty call, don't be surprised when they're talking about Netflix and chill, and you know they want to cuddle and they want to touch and they want to kiss. You know, you should already be in expectation of that, All right? It's not like back in the day where you went to the movies and you sat in the back so you can make out, you know, or they went to a drive through movie and, you know, oh, uh, yeah, you know, and you made out, you know. But, or, you know, let's go our way to uh, Lover's Lane or to the park, you know. All of those things that are, that you know, if you're doing that as consenting adults, then uh, go for it, you know. I definitely, uh, like I say, it's it's already implied. You you don't really have to question what the hell is going on. You you should already know. Like I just want you to be, you know, like full disclosure. It's 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 the start of what could possibly be the finish. <laughs> so you you never know. Um, be safe. You know, use protection and all of that. Um, let's see. Okay. Also. Um, I don't know if any got any Amazon Prime uh, users out there, but Amazon Prime has some good Amazon Prime, you know, TV show originals. And I watched recently watched the show. It's called The Hunters or whatever. It had Al Pacino in it. I, I found it to be a really good show. I, it drew me in. Like I say it was action comedy, so um, it was perfect for what I was what I'm into now. If you're into action comedy, uh, let me know. Send me a message. Maybe you should uh, 
you can like i say if you're not an action comedy person or me even if you are whatever you're into please uh like i say leave me a message uh hit me up and let me know of uh, any good movies or tv shows that i haven't talked about right now i'm currently binge watching the blacklist uh, <laughs> These seasons are so long. They're like 22 episodes long. And the shows are like um, about an hour long, 42 minutes without commercials or however you want to put it. But I'm going to just say, you know, an hour long or whatever. And a um, good 45 minutes or whatever. And, you know, it's kind of hard to um, just sit around, even though we have the time and you're not probably not doing anything, sit around and, and even, uh, even if you're working home right now, to sit around and push through that many it's seven seasons right now, so it's very hard to push through 22 episodes a season, and it's intense. It's like an emotional roller coaster. Like you never know who's gonna die, you never know what's gonna happen, you don't know who's gonna be the next uh, target or bad guy or whatever on the list, and you don't know what they're gonna do. You don't know what their their uh, secret agenda is. So, like I say, it's a really good show. I recommend you checking it out. Um, it will definitely pull you in. Now, with that being said, um, I just want to say shout out to my hosting service, which is Anchor. Uh, Anchor is the service that I'm using, and they pretty much put me out there. You know, I'm on Spotify, Google, iTunes. I think I'm on like every um, streaming platform, uh, and uh, so far I haven't like I say this is my second broadcast so hopefully I will grow my audience to thousands and um, this is me Terrence uh, giving a uh, oh, good advice giver you know G-A-G good advice giver and that's what I'm here for I'm here to give out some really good advice about you know random topics uh it doesn't really matter what it is. Anything that you can think of. Relationships, finances, uh, money, uh, uh, business, uh, just anything out there that you could possibly think of, I definitely will put my two cents in there. And I will present you with as much, uh, mostly opinion, but as much facts as I can slide in there. Um, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and say that Everything I say is uh, absolute because, again, I'm only human. I could be wrong. And if I am, you know, uh, you know, I recommend that no matter what I talk about, do your own research, you know, so make sure that uh, you verify, you know, uh, I don't want to be putting it out there like I'm absolute and this is it, uh, you know. I, only things that I can say that I know that are probably absolute are like quotes, like a penny saved is a penny earned, uh, Abraham Lincoln, you know, stuff like that. I know that that is the case because that's what I was been taught, you know, everybody knows it. And I mean, I said Abraham Lincoln, you see, I, I threw you off. It, uh, I mean, Benjamin Franklin, uh, <laughs> again, I'm already human, I'm already messing up. Um, so let that be a let that right there be a lesson to you. <laughs> oh man, let that be a lesson to you. Um, that I threw that in there just to just to throw you off, just to trick you a little bit, you know. So you would um, know that I make mistakes, and I'm here to. This is only my second broadcast, and hopefully, I will be able to do many more as time passes. And I mean, my goal is you know, goal is one a day, maybe even two a day, you know, like maybe I can get, um, you know, I'm trying to average it out to where I do like 15 minute segments. So uh, maybe even someday I can uh, become like a real syndicated radio host and, you know, have my own little uh, spot. You know, you never know. But I I'm new to this and. I appreciate anyone who uh, streams and clicks and listens. And even if you don't listen, remember this. You can stream it. <laughs> and you, can, you can click on it and mute it and just let it play. And I appreciate that, too, because I feel like I'm still going to get the same, uh, you know, benefits from it. It's just I, I need, you know, I need your help. Um, share my link. Uh, click on the links in the description 
there's something there that you know you might be interested in like i say my primary purpose for this is advertising so maybe uh something down below in the links below i talk about uh online marketing and business making and you know um all, all of that nature so if you're into internet marketing and uh, email marketing or whatever then feel free to um you know check me out and it's been a good day and this is me terrence signing off and i hope i gave you the best advice that i could give and i appreciate you tuning in and don't forget see you later same time every day